Craig, 3 2 away to Livingston today. What's your thoughts on that one? I thought the girls were outstanding. I thought to a player they were absolutely outstanding. Um, tricky surface underfoot, to be honest with you. Very dry, very bobbly. Uh, not your usual that you expect, but it was the same for both teams. And I thought the girls tried to play and they created some great chances and great goals. And I was very happy with them today. They worked right off the ball as well, especially because it's so hot. I can't fault them. Especially coming back for two down, I thought their character was absolutely outstanding. So probably said that five times now, but they were outstanding. Does that, um, do you, obviously we've spoke before, it's just three points, the league was already confirmed, but do you take a lot from that, that you set your side a challenge five games ago, to go on beating them, done that, it could have been very easy coming here today, Livingston needing to win, you go 2-0 down, you know, it could have been easy to just go, oh well that's it, but they've come back and they've been, probably since they confirmed as champions, outstanding or, or overall. Yeah, I think um, they could have easily have just down tools when it, it went 2-0 but they never they were hungry uh, and I actually think it went 2 against their runner play I think I'm a wee bit mad saying that but I thought we were in control and probably the better team um, and, and they've scored 2 goals I'm, I'm still not sure about the penalty if I'm brutally honest but we need to do better in the following I still think it was outside the box um, but that seemed to be the way the, the day was going in terms of decisions and I think for Cal to score an absolute bumper at the edge of the box which we've been challenging her for and she's been working hard on it in training uh, and to break away just before half time for the corner and it was a great counter and a great finish for Amy. Today obviously brings an end to, to what's been a wonderful season for the girls. Do you have a chance now over the next few days to reflect? Have you started to do that? Is it, is it too soon? What What's the kind of, at what point do you, do you stop reflecting and you start building for next season? I think the, the build's already started. Um, the, the build's in the the initial phases um, for next season. We'll try to dot the T's and cross the I's. If you want to flip that and put it the other way about, you can. But I think we're already um, we're already in the planning phases. Um, the, the girls have been absolutely fantastic. We challenged them. Um, they've been resilient in their challenges. They've, they've not been beaten since the Gap Cairn game, which is an outstanding run to go on. Uh, and that's why they're champions, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's football that you know, everybody will stay together and, and people will move on to pursue what they want to pursue. But I think every single person that's been in the building has been outstanding throughout the season. Staff, players and, and everybody else that's helped us out. And people that come all the way through here today to go to the game to see us, see us win and, and, and charge us on. I, I genuinely do think the girls were outstanding and they get everything they deserved at the game. But there is planning phases going on behind the scenes as always happens in football. Well Craig, for the final time, well done today. It's been a fantastic season. Over 100 goals, um, 20, 23 wins out of 28 in the league. Probably couldn't ask for much better. Can't wait for SWPL1 next year. Magic, thank you.